Hey there, welcome to or welcome back to No Pants Profits. My name is Richard and this is Scott. From and where are we? From where? Because say where you're from. Controversial cruising. In South Korea. In South Korea. Yeah, sorry. Uh, and Scott, we're going to the Carnival Miracle today. Okay. You've never been on that ship before, right? No, I haven't. I've never been on that ship before. She's an old girl. She is. But we're headed to Alaska. Now, Scott's been to Alaska once before, right? Yeah, last year. But you didn't have the tubby buddy as your tour guide. I did not. We are going to go get drunk, watch shows, have a good time. We're doing one cruise ship excursion the entire time. And in my opinion, it's the best cruise ship excursion in the world. And Scott's never done it. And we're going to get really smashed while we watch global warming happen in live action. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it sounds bad. Okay, so we are right now at the Grant Plaza Hotel, which is in... Chinatown. And, and let's be very clear. Chinatown, San Francisco, which is the Chinatown of the world outside of... San Francisco? No, outside of Chinatown. Oh, outside of Chinatown. Yeah. yeah. No, outside... Oh, my God. Okay. So, Scott, we got to take an Uber to the port, which I think is Pier 27, Pier 29. 27. 27 Pier 27. 27. Uh -huh. uh, we're going to join board the Miracle. I've been in San Francisco for three days. You've been in San Francisco for two days. One day. I don't know. Math is hard. Uh, you've been in San Francisco for one day. I've been in San Francisco for three days, and I've shown all the stuff that you could do before your cruise in San Francisco. But right now... I will show you the <laughs> view of Chinatown. You don't get this view in a normal hotel. No, My don't. friend is staying at a uh, very expensive hotel. This was forty dollars a night. Dollar. Forty dollars a night. Forty so, dollars. Forty dollars. Forty dollars um, so, a night. So I want to go ahead. Uh, we're gonna get head in an Uber to Pier Twenty Seven. Show you the ship. Give you a tour around. It's themed about movies for some reason, right? And the, the ship's like themed around movies. There's like a Gotham City Lounge, uh -huh. Yellow Brick Road. And yep. Weird shit like that. I don't know if they have unique cocktail menus or anything, but as we leave our Chinatown hotel, we leave two things behind. Remember, they say leave things untouched. Scott, you see one thing that's on the floor there? It's a fortune cookie. Well, it's broken a fortune A broken cookie. fortune cookie. Hey, Scott, where was the fortune cookie invented? In San Francisco. Yeah, down the street. In down San the Francisco. street. Golden Gate. Yeah. <laughs> fortune cookie. That's pretty messed up. But you know what we also leave behind? What? You're, you're missing it. You see what that is? A dirty straw. Well, but what type of straw is it? Plastic. Uh oh! <laughs> We're leaving behind a plastic straw, because guess what? What? You know about your Asian heritage. Chinatown don't care about pollution. Mm -hmm. That's a white people problem. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Am I wrong? No. OK, we're going to see you at the Carnival Miracle. Port. 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 Or starboard? Starboard. Port. In the aft. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Twinky winky. Tell me, buddy. See you there. Bye. All right, so we are at the Pier 27, and this is the worst organized check baggage I think I've ever seen. Do you agree, Carnival? Uh, not Carnival. Do you agree, Scott? Uh, I, yeah, I, mean, I don't even see where it is. That's the end of the check it? bag oh, line. Jesus. You have to wait in the line all the way to, to get there. Bag? No way, we're not doing that. We're, we're not? We're not doing that. I'm not going to wait in that line. Okay. I'm platinum priority. And I'll get in a fight with someone because I'm not going to wait in a line with the commoners. We're faster to the fun. Faster. But our fun is free. Yes, it is. Fisting to the fun one. Fisting. Fisting to the fun. Fisting to the fun. <laughs> they only use that on the swingers' cruises. But look, all the cars are gone, but there's a luggage line that's going to take a half fucking hour to get your luggage on. And we're going to walk right. We're going to walk with our bags right on. Yeah, Bill's right there. Yeah, we're going to walk with our bags okay. right on. Right. Um, Ugh. It'll Ooh, be a miracle good, right? if we can do it. <laughs> oh, wait, no. It's a miracle once we're on it. Scott, that's a great burp. Yeah, thanks. Congratulations. What are you, what are you burping up? Mm. Chowder. No, uh, Chowder. That, that toast. Avocado toast? Yeah, the oh, toast. Scott, your whiteness is showing. Yes. I ain't never seen an Asian person Where's have an avocado toast. He's in line. I see him. He's in front of us. We're good. We're getting live. Let you know. So we are at Pier 27 in uh, San Francisco for the Carnival Miracle, and I want to show you the line here to check your luggage. I've never seen anything like this before. You know, there's normally like porters and stuff out checking your luggage. This is the line just to check your luggage. Yeah. That ain't happening. So instead of waiting in this line, which is going to take 20 minutes to check the luggage, we're just going to go ahead and walk right into the port with our luggage. Because guess what? By the time we get on, our room's going to be ready anyway. So, yeah. 
Screw this uh, luggage check, which is dumb. And we'll just get right, bound, right on. Dumb. San Francisco port. Fix this shit. All right, so made it through security. Fortunately, they had a uh, separate security line for priority. Um, Got to go on. Scott is right ahead. He's staying in Bill's cabin uh, on paper. Get him a pass key because uh, Bill has two drink packages because he loses far more in the casino than I do. So Scott and Bill are checking in together. I'm checking in probably five people behind them. And uh, we'll see them right when we get through the check-in process. Yes, you can actually carry your entire big luggage right through security. They had problems with my fortune cookies, but I was like, no, nope, it's sealed. So we good. So I just had to go to uh, guest services and recheck in because, again, weird shuffling. Uh, my passenger didn't come with me, but went with someone else. Scott, Scott's going with my buddy who's lost a lot more in the casino than I have. So he gets two drink packages. Um, but yeah, time to get on board the Carnival Miracle. What's funny, if you're a gambler and you gamble on cruise ships, uh, specifically on Carnival, whenever you book it, you get two people listed. And the question is, what happens if one of those people doesn't show up. Now, the gambler has to show up, but I just checked in the Carnival Miracle in the port of San Francisco, and I had to go to guest services and explain why my TBA last name didn't show up. The good news is they'll let you board still, and then you'll handle the finances on board. Getting the taxes and the port fees back is all handled on board, uh, and they'll just give it back to you in a gift card or an onboard credit or stuff like that. So you don't have to worry if your guest doesn't show up, but remember, the gambler always has to sail. Because that's why they're giving you a free cruise. They think you're going to gamble some more. All right, so now we are headed on the Carnival Miracle Cash and More. You get that joke. And you get that joke. My home for the next 21 days. Two back-to-back -back cruises. No backing out now. 11 days, on, uh, 11 days on the first one. 10 days on the second one. We got Twinkie Winky Scott and Tig Old Bitty's Trish. They're coming on. But... We're gonna head on board. Oop. And oh, it's nice and cold here. The captain is on board. The captain's on board. No, you cannot. The doctor's not on yet. <laughs> Move the ship. Hello. Move the ship. All right. So let's look at my room for the first 11 days of this voyage. This was a shittier room, but it came with a lot of free play in the casino. I'm not saying an amount because I'm not stupid. Uh, oh, okay. Is it not bad? Oh. oh, singer dancer. That was the cruise director. All right, let's put stuff down. I'm going to give Scott the window. We have a tiny window, but it's still a window. We got a sofa. Now we got to check out the shitar. Shitar. Oh, shower curtain shitter. But we still got the we still got the Tide Pods. That's all that matters. Good storage, everything like that. This will work for 11 days. I got a balcony next cruise for 10 days. We'll take old Biddy's Trish. Scott, come on in. You're the next contestant on The Price is Wrong. Tibba. Tibba. Yes, his name is Tibba. Does your key work? Check. Hey. Congratulations, Tibba. Uh, because he's staying with me, but he's in another room. It gets confusing, but Tibba, I can't believe they actually pr printed a key with the name Tibba on it. It's great. That's ridiculous. Love it, love it, love it. We're going to go explore since we got our bags inside. Well, you've already seen my cabin, and that's kind of what you get when you win in the casino. But at 6258, this is what you get when you lose in the casino. They've got a nice dressing area, a wardrobe with two bathrooms. I guarantee you neither of them are big enough to fit me. Oh, look, you have a bathroom you can do spins in. It's very uh, Venetian in style, European in style. Oh God, has not her sinks. They are, they are missing a dog bowl. You know the little dog bowl that's next to the toilet sometimes? The yeah, go, 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 go. And you've got a mirror. Oh look, got that, a big bed. Oh, my friend Bill is gonna get lucky this cruise. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, boy. Let's see. Oh, and he's got a view of the big ugly bridge. Two chairs and a chaise. This is actually a nice cabin. I guess that's what happens when you lose in the casino. 
instead of win. <laughs> you saw mine. It's kind of shitty. I'm not going to lie. This actually feels like a sweet. Hey, Bill, can I give you a recommendation? What? No. You should call your butler and have him assign your dining time to any time for you. Wrong, wrong cruise ship. Well, no, if you're in a suite, you should have a butler. On every other cruise line, if you have a suite, am I wrong? You should have a butler. Uh, only on the MSC, man. No. Celebrity, you have a butler. Uh, Royal, you have a butler. Norwegian, you have a butler. What about Princess? Princess, you have a butler. Yeah, it's boy. just Carnival, the Walmart of the seas. Oh, okay. I told Scott I'm going to say something that's going to be funny if he gets the joke. And if he doesn't get the joke, you watch a lot of cruise bloggers, right? Yeah. Overweight white girl, and we're back at it again. Oh. What are you you're supposed to say? Back at it again. You don't watch oh, the again, again. No, oh. dumbass. No, dumbass. Oh. You don't remember the couple? It's an overweight white girl and her overweight black boyfriend. Oh, yeah, no, I don't. And they always go, "This is our first drink of the cruise." No. You've never seen that video? I don't think I watched that. Okay, what what did you get? Uh, the bite of the iguana. Bite of the iguana? Yeah. Is that really a drink? Yeah. Well, that's a unique menu. I've never heard of this menu. Bite of... Never had that drink. Hey, Scott, I got some bad news for you, though. What? There's unique drinks on this bar menu. What does that mean? You're drinking the whole bar. Not I. We're drinking the whole bar. You're drinking <laughs> most of it. Okay, and I got a Blue's Blue Margarita. Because we had some orange chicken. That was fire. Fire. In more ways than one. So it was really good. It's also really spicy. Have you had this one before? It's like a pina yeah, colada. I don't like that. No, you don't like that one? No. Too sweet for you? I don't like frozen. No frozen for me. If I can not have frozen, I want to have ice cubes. Let it go? Mm-hmm. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. You sing so bad, I'm not going to get a copyright problem. It's fine. I know. Yeah. Great. We're not going to do a full tour of the ship today, but we'll show you a little bit. We're going to do a full tour later on. So far, I'm actually liking it. It seems like this is a high level. High level from like the first hour on board. The top decks have been renovated much newer than the bottom decks have. Yes. I mean, there is, I'm just going to show them around real quick. I mean, there's Blue Iguana Cantina, Guy's Burgers, Blue Iguana Tequila Bar, Red Frog Rum Bar. My God, dude. It's almost like the Luminosa didn't exist. What did Luminosa had? Had some sad ass burgers in the corner, and someone went to Michael's and made a Red Frog Rum Bar sign. You remember that sign? Yeah. You remember that sign? Yeah. It was like stuck on with tape. Yeah. I mean, lovely people worked there, but yes. that ship was they fucking ship, terrible. They, they deserve a better ship. Yeah. This ship, though. This ship is nice. It's beautiful. Look at the look at the cabinetry and everything. It didn't come with this. This was this no, was definitely 2018 refurbishment. This. It's stunning. The top deck, at least. The bottom deck? Well, shit. Someone thought it was a good idea to make a movie-themed ship. We haven't even seen a lot of the bottom deck yet. We're going to go explore that. And if we find something weird, we're going to show it. You know what I want to find, though, Scott? I want to find the piano bar. Oh, so, yeah. So, you ready to go on a search for the piano bar with me? Sure. All right. I'll show you guys when we get there, too. All right. So, it is uh, 445. I'm not sure where the rest of my party is, but we're doing a really cool maneuver turning out of the port here. Uh, if you look right there, that's Alcatraz Island. I don't know if we're going to get close to wave hello to the lighthouse keeper. If you got that joke, that's a Concordia that's a type of grape. Um, and you've got uh, the Golden Gate Bridge over there, which we're going to be sailing directly under the Golden Gate Bridge. I will definitely, 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 definitely bring that to you in about 20-ish minutes when it happens. I see you on Facebook. YouTube, Facebook, I don't know where. Eyes all over. All right. So we are still doing the turn and then we're going to head out under the Golden Gate Bridge. which is the only red bridge in town. Uh, nice thing is we're on deck 10. Yeah, yeah, one deck above Lido. Deck 10. You got some windbreakers right here, so you're not freezing cold. It's only about 60 degrees out here, I'd say. So it's not too bad, but uh, onward and forward to the Golden Gate Bridge we go. I have to say, this is, uh, it, once we get underway, it looks like one of the most picturesque uh, kind of sailings that I think I've ever seen. So stay tuned, and I will show you the views as I can. I guess there's a bridge that's not the Golden Gate. 
Wave! There's the bridge that's not the Golden Gate. That's the Nolden Gate, an open gate. And then we got the Golden Gate. Come back to you when we get to the Golden Gate. And from the casino, see the casino behind me, we are zooming past Alcatraz Island there. I was on that island yesterday. Somehow I escaped it. But we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go up to the, um, up back to the top in order to see the um, Golden Gate Bridge. And then we can go back, I gotta get everyone together and we got to uh, apply to be on Family Feud together. Uh, they write it at five, but it's really from five until, until seven that you can do the auditions. But it is the same Family Feud that's on Celebration, Mardi Gras and Jubilee. I've not seen that in any of the carnival ships. Uh, they have the podium, they have everything. It's the exact same Family Feud game. So as soon as we pass that Golden Gate, I'm gonna get the natives together and we're going to uh, apply for Family Feud. So I did get a little, little package. So I got me a bacon maple. Don't know, these are $4 from the coffee shop, but they're so damn good. And uh, hopefully you're gonna see a sail under the Golden Gate Bridge. All right, here we go. The Golden Gate Bridge. We're gonna be going under it in uh, about a minute and a half or so, if I'm predicting uh, the current speed we're going. Um, the place to see it, if you're on this ship, is deck nine. The other decks, you can't get in front of that wall. So there's a wall right here deck nine. I don't know if it's just now or not. They do let you get in front of the wall. So I think, yeah, this is, this is totally the bridge. On the other side of the bridge is, uh, is the uh, Pacific Ocean. We went to the Pacific on a on Panama Canal little transit literally two weeks ago. Next, uh, next week, Take old bitty Strish. We'll be back with me doing the same thing. I want you to know my donut is safely behind that barrier. I did actually lose um, two pieces of bacon in the wind. Tear. Oh, tear, tear. And here we go. Here's the bridge. You can see the, the fog. We'll take it. Take another selfie. See if people like erupt in cheers and stuff. I don't know. There we go. Ah. All right. Sorry. That was me being a white girl. I've not uh, sailed under the Golden Gate Bridge before, but uh, it looks like a minute and a half was a pretty good, pretty good estimate. And Forty seconds in. Here we go. It's gonna get a lot windier when we get under that bridge. A little effect. That's gonna happen. Just make sure you're well held on to your camera. It doesn't seem like it's gonna get stronger when you get under the bridge. Uh oh, we're tooting. And there we go. Well, we clear it. Well, we clear it. There we go. Get to do the same thing 11 days again from now. <laughs> And we cleared it. Woo! Uh, just barely. <laughs> Maybe we'll go. We'll go to the highest point we can next time in 11 days and <laughs> see. But they have to. They have to actually go ahead and um, weigh down the ship with extra water so we can clear it. But yeah, we done cleared that bridge. And Alcatraz is behind it, San Francisco is behind it. And you know what's two days in front of us? Alaska. That's what's two days in front of us. But don't worry. Don't worry. I know you guys were all very worried about one thing. One thing and one thing alone. You were worried about the health and safety of my donut. The good news is the donut survived. It's windy as hell. The donut survival. Oh, I'm gonna have to protect the donut now. Uh oh, Captain. We have left our beer, our bird. 
at San Francisco Cross under the Golden, Golden Gate, Gate Bridge. One of the iconic landmarks in the world, and we are leaving San Francisco Bay, proceeding to, towards Las. Alba. We are expecting to be on time for our first port in uh, Huna. Hold on, I see straight point. Neither on Wednesday. Oh, really? Neither on Wednesday? It's only Monday. So we have one C day out. I didn't know that. I truly didn't know. That. There's the Golden Gate, and here <laughs> is what remains of the donut. But I'm perfectly fine with that. Mm. Mm. See you later. I'll go audition for Family Feud. We'll see y'all at the Steakhouse. All right, so I'm here with Mr. Scott at the Red Frog uh, Inside Tiki Bar. This ship is so weird. Wait for the review, that's all I'm saying. But um, I asked for the strongest drink. Scott, I'm gonna call this drink the Dr. Frankenstein. Okay. Because that's what it looks like. Or, 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 black water. <laughs> I have no idea what that is. Scott, taste it. It drinks like snow cone syrup. Oh. Sweet? Oh. It's like drink. It drinks like snow cone syrup. I love it. We're going to the steakhouse next. We're going to give you a full review. Stay tuned. All right, so we're at the steakhouse now. We're going to do a completely separate video, but it's kind of weird. The steakhouse is like up the stairs and around the corner. No signage or anything. No signage. Inside of the big funnel of the giant Eiffel Tower with Napoleon Dynapart, Bonaparte downstairs. I'm really confused. Watch the steakhouse review. You'll learn more. All right, so um, we have ended day number one here on the Carnival Miracle. Scott learned how to play table games, including one called Let It Die, and our farts are an epic battle to the death. We don't have a window that opens here, or a balcony that opens here, so I fart, Scott farts, and the farts battle to their death. This is Richard from No Pants Province, and Scott from, say it loud. Controversial cruising. Reminding you <laughs> that when you wear no pants, your farts have nowhere to filter through. We'll see you tomorrow or at a later day for our next installment of What the Fuck is Going On with a Carnival Miracle. Have a great one. Bye!